at a request to take a look at the number 15 from day two. So I wanted to do that now. We're going to use two theorems that we saw in our notes. Uh, first, an inscribed quadrilateral, the opposite angles are going to be supplementary. So supplementary, a word that we discussed a lot throughout the year, means that the two angles are going to add to 180. So opposite angles here, A and 108, they're going to add to 180. 92 and B are going to add to 180. Second, we have some inscribed angles with the vertex on the circle. So we are going to see that the angle compared to the arc is going to be half. So your angle 108 is going to be half of the intercepted arc. Another way you can think about it is your intercepted arc that's going around here is going to be double whatever that angle is. But we'll start by looking at letter A. Now, not always are you going to be able to go in order, but sometimes we can. So we'll we'll start with A. So A is going to be supplementary with 108. So I'm just going to take 180 minus 108, and I'm going to get 72. So 72 degrees. There's my there's my first angle, and then B is supplementary with 92. So we're going to take 180 minus 92 leaves me with 88 so b is going to be 88 so those are probably the two easier ones to find and and uh, get those out of the way now we get to c so c we're kind of looking at c is kind of opposite from b which we know um, we could use that arc but i'm going to focus in more on this arc i like this arc right here 108 goes to here 108 also is going to go to here. So it's going to form this arc going around your circle. And we're going to use that inscribed angle theorem that any arc intercepted by an angle is going to be double whatever that angle is. So if my angle right here is 108, this whole arc is going to be 216. Now, if I know 114 are taken up over here in this side, then how much is going to be left for C? Well, what could we do to figure that out? We'll take 216. We'll subtract off that 114 that's taken up. That leaves me with 102. So C is going to be 102. Next, I probably should have been filling this in, but we do know that B is 88 right in there. So B is 88, we can look at its inscribed. That's gonna go to there. That's gonna go to there. Okay, and then I should probably have filled in C, so it's a good idea as you get stuff filled in, you should, should uh, label it. So C was 102. Okay, now this 88 degrees in green, is going to intercept this arc and 88 doubled is going to be 176 and if i know 102 is taken up well how much is left for d down here well i would take 176 minus 102 which is going to give me 74. So that leaves me with 74 degrees left. So that is the remaining arc D that we can find. So starting with the quadrilateral theorem, we can find those opposite angles are supplementary. Then knowing some of those interior angles, those inscribed angles, we can start to relate those to the arcs. And if there's two arcs put together and you know the total, you can just subtract one of those arcs to find that missing arc. Hopefully this helps and keep the request coming. If you have other problems to take a look at, I'd be happy to do it. And thanks for checking in. We'll see you later.